Hi, I'm Brendan from LuxuryPergola.com. We get asked all the time if you can go larger than a 12 by 20 pergola. Now that's the largest unit you can see on our site. After today, the answer to that question is yes. You can now combine two or more luxury pergola units together to cover even more space than ever before. We like to call it the super pergola. You can actually combine multiple luxury pergola units together, and the best part is, where those two units connect, you don't need to use two posts. You only need one post in the middle where the two units come together. In this video, we're gonna go over exactly how to do that. It's a very simple process, and you can use this information to create even larger shaded spaces with ultimate customization and versatility. And we can do all of this while still maintaining industry-leading snow and wind loads. We take pride in offering the most versatile, highest quality, and most customizable pergola kit in the world. We can do this because we design, manufacture, and engineer everything ourselves in our own facility right here in the United States. We are really excited to offer this next step in providing unparalleled customization for our customers. All right, so enough talking about it, let's get started. Since combining two units is gonna require a lot of space, we're gonna do it with pieces here so you can see the key components you'll need to combine these two pergolas. So we'll show you how to make that single center post the connection point for your two pergolas. We'll use these. Imagine you're gonna combine two 12 by 20 pergola units into a 24 by 20. So those two 12 foot sides will butt up next to each other. So you have a 12 foot and then another 12 foot with that single post in the middle. Let's say this is one of our 12 foot beams and this is one of our 12 foot beams. Now to make sure that post in the middle is the only connection point, we're gonna have to use our post connector. Every unit comes with a post connector that looks like this. So you're gonna have four holes here, four holes here, and we have a lot of extra holes up here. The reason we do that is so that you can move that beam to beam connector to these four holes closer to the center. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our beam to beam connectors and we're going to attach them to both of the 12, side, or 12 foot sides of the unit. We'll make sure that these holes are facing out. Take our screw gun and use the uh, screws from bag L to connect the beam to beam connector before we add it to the post connector. This is slightly different than the normal installation. The reason we're doing this is because once these two beams are next to each other, you will not be able to get to these screws. Okay, so that's one. And let's do the next one. All right, now our two 12 foot beams are gonna be ready. After we connect the two beam to beam connectors, these two beams will sit right next to each other on top of that post. So what we're gonna do next is take our post connector. Obviously we'll do this part on the ground. And line up these four holes here and these four holes in the middle onto our beam to beam connectors. You'll use the normal screws you would use to connect to the beam to beam connectors. So as you can see, I left an extra hole open so you kind of see the orientation of what we're looking at. So on the inside four squares in through here, I attached the screws into the beam to beam connectors. Normally, we'd attach them to the outside four holes over here. Now, with these extra outside four holes, we recommend you take screws from bag L and place them in these extra holes. The reason why is it'll give you extra rigidity since we're covering a greater span. So we're gonna do that right now. Now, these are self-tapping screws, so you won't see holes already drilled in the beam, but you can just use those screws to go straight through into the beam itself. So, as you can see, I added two more screws to the outside. Again, this will give you some extra strength when you go to place this on your pergola unit. 
So now we have what would be a 24 foot length of beam plus the post connector. So what you're going to do next is lift this whole assembly onto your posts. So we have a post right here. And let's pretend these are the outside posts. All right, so you and probably two friends are each going to go up holding a piece of this beam and place the entire assembly into your post. So now you have two units coming together with a single post in the middle. Then you'll go through and attach your screws all along the inside of the post into this post to post connector. So now for our purposes, let's assume this is on the post. I lowered it so you could actually see what I'm doing. And these are our two 12 foot beams coming together for a single 24 foot. Now we have to get the beams going down the middle here. So these are gonna behave as two separate units that are combined. So we're gonna keep the entire frame for both units except for that post. When you get your luxury pergola, you're gonna see that there are screws on both sides of that beam. You're gonna to wanna to remove the screws where the two beams come together right here in the middle. I've already done it for this example. So that way, they can sit right next to each other. You're gonna get up on your ladders, and you're gonna place these two interior beams right next to each other, and then drive your screws in from the outside. That will give you your 24 foot span and your 20 foot span this way. Now make sure before you take those beams up, you remove the screws from the interior portion of that beam. If you do not, they're gonna hold each other out like this and you won't be able to drive those screws together. So if you were to remove that connector piece that's already in there, you would just see the screws coming in on one side and no screws coming in on the other. So you're gonna remove the screws again from this side so the two beams can sit parallel to each other easily. All right, so I got a couple corner connectors. I chose white so you could see what I'm doing. So you place the corner covers on this assembly. So this is roughly what it would look like if everything was connected and everything was the same color. This is where the two beams would come together on that post. And if you wanna seal between the two beams here, just take some of the caulk we provided and run a bead of caulk right down the middle. Do this before you place the louvers. It'll be very, very difficult to get to this seam if you've already placed the louvers on your unit. The next piece to understand is you will have slightly different gutter connectors if you are combining your pergola units. You might get gutter connectors that are not pre-drilled. The reason why is once you place this beam in place, the normal holes that you would use to attach a gutter connector are now offset. So what you'll do in this case is you'll drive your normal screws here and here, and then take some of your other screws that you'd normally use for the gutter connector and use the self-tapping nature to go into this post connector. That way you can maintain control of your gutters while still combining these two pergola units. And that's all you need to do to combine two or more luxury pergola units. We're really excited because this gives you unparalleled customization to make sure the pergola fits your space exactly. Now, something to keep in mind, you need to combine sides that are the same length. The beams touch uh, and run parallel to each other, that has got to be the same dimension. So if you combine, let's say an eight by 16, you can either have the eight foot sides touching or the 16 foot sides touching. If you do a 10 by 20, you could have the 20 foot sides touching each other or the 10 foot sides touching each other. This is really important to make sure that you can use that single post in the middle. You could even combine a 10 by 13, a 10 by 15, and a 10 by 12 all together so long as the sides that are running parallel to each other are all the 10 foot sides. Again, we're really excited to offer this and I'm really excited to see what customers do to make this pergola exactly what they want for their space. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach us on our website, give us a call, and we can walk you through exactly how we could help you design the best space for your outdoor area. 
Thank you again for watching. I'm Brendan with TheLuxuryPergola.com. I can't wait to see what you all come up with.